please welcome a man with the box office appeal of Paul Hogan, the wrestling talent of Hulk Hogan, the musical talent of Brooke Hogan. <laughs> Chris Jericho. Come on! You know I got you! Yeah! Wow, it's one of those nights, is it? My goodness. Thank you for having me, guys. Good evening, everybody. Uh, as we all know, we are here to uh, roast an overrated guitar player who's cocky, arrogant, and has a shitty beard. But I'll get to Scott Ian later. <laughs> Sharon, uh, I'm really glad that you could be here to be the roast master tonight. And I was just curious, did you take the Santa Ana Freeway here all the way, or did you just ride in on your broomstick? No, I'm just kidding. We all know she wrote in on Ozzy's coattails. <laughs> I mean, look at this dais. What a crew. These people have OD'd, died, and come back so many times. This isn't even a roast. It's a seance. <laughs> and speaking of The Walking Dead, Scott Ian, right there, made a cameo on the TV show Walking Dead. Seriously, Scott is one of a kind, honestly. He's the only Jew in the music business who's never made any money. <laughs> but honestly, seriously, Scott, I'm really glad that you're here up in the dais tonight. Anything to keep you from making any more crappy music with the members of Fall Out Boy. And speaking of gay, Jim Norton is here. Yes. A man with a face for radio and a cock for trannies assholes. <laughs> a man so ugly, comedy was his only option in life. <laughs> I mean, look at you, man. What a fucking mess you are. Now I know what the aborted fetus of Don Rickles would look like. <laughs> Postane, stop reading your notes. I'm up to you now. Brian is a big comic who loves metal. And everybody is always saying how ugly and gross Brian is, but I disagree. Even though he is repulsive and disgusting, he reminds me more of Big Bird with a big 70s porno bush on his fucking face. <laughs> Brian is so ugly, he has to get completely drunk before he can masturbate. <laughs> We also have Corey Taylor from Slipknot, right there. Yes! Now, even though Corey is a big-time rock star from the middle of bumfuck Iowa, he stays close to his white trash roots. He still brings his uncle out on the road with him to molest him. <laughs> I'm seriously, I know you're multi-talented. You wrote a book, I read it. And that book has so much wasted ink in it, Jesse James tried to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and Kat Von D tried to marry it. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Zach, this is your night, brother. I love you. You're a great guy. I mean, you're a guitar god. And with that gut, your god is obviously Buddha. <laughs> watching Zach solo is wa like watching him have sex. He plays with himself for 20 minutes, and when he finally climaxes, he's the only person experiencing any pleasure. <laughs> but really, Zach, I love all your songs. Or as I like to call them, mediocre Aussie tunes with shitty vocals. <laughs> I'm not saying you've gained weight, but you're a pair of smart glasses and a bad comedy act away from being Brian Posehn. <laughs> Seriously, what's with that beard? I mean, God, man, actually, you know what? I know why you have that beard. It hides all the skid marks from licking Ozzy's ass all those years. <laughs> In closing, I just want to say thanks to an amazing guitar player who has his own unique and influential style, took the great Ozzy Osbourne to new levels musically, and is loved by metal fans all over the world. Let's hear it for Gus G. <laughs> Seriously, brother, the bottom line is, the bottom line is, the bottom line is, brother, we fucking love you. This is your night, and please take a fucking shower, okay? Yes, thank you.
Thank you, my brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah.